It's Friday, final day. All the final stuff that we're gonna be getting for the house before I need to go. fam and k3 welcome to project entrepreneur and what a crazy couple weeks it's been now you're on project entrepreneur so what is this all about it's about cars fitness entrepreneurship and family and why are we doing this because we want to give back support entertain and put things in perspective where are we at gilbert arizona where did we just come from and move from Hayward, California. You're gonna see me last week here at the house, all the things that we're doing to this house, and then we're gonna show you this house. We just sold a house, we just bought a house, and we got a house that's three times the size of the one that we just sold. You have to watch all the other episodes. House here that's three times the size was $100,000 less. So enjoy this week's episode. You'll see some context as far as what we're doing to the house, and then next week, you'll actually see a grand tour, and we're gonna do a whole video walkthrough tour of the house, but it's a little bit of a fixer, so we're doing a lot of things to the house. This is one of the things that we just did this week, which is this fence for people. So enjoy this week's episode. I appreciate your continued support and let's get this week's episode started. What up social fam? So alright, we're gonna go inside the house really quick. I'm not gonna show you the whole entire house. We're not gonna give you a whole house for a I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we're doing like this type of stuff. And I need to get some paint here and also this type of stuff so we're changing all the outside lights all the inside lights we're changing all the door handles and the doorknobs and bringing just everything up to speed and then we also are going to be changing this up this is to ring doorbell so just to give you some context we just bought this home in arizona close yesterday so that was the 17th this home is a 10,000 square foot this home is on 10,000 square foot not a lot and it's a 33 square foot home so I'm show you I'm gonna show you some of the things that we're doing. I'm here one week before Red's baby Jake gets here. I have the cats. So let's go inside with me, show you what we're doing, and give you some context. Garbage. So this here door is coming off because we're doing a barn door here. Also, if you see here, we just changed these door handles. We changed the door handles from this to this. We're also changing the lights as well, as you can see here. So we're also doing floors. All of these floors are all getting done. All of these. About 1,200 square feet of floors is all getting done. And there's all this, all this, all this, all this, all this, oh my god, there's so much more. All this get changed to this. So this is going to be the new tile. And so we're going from yeah to yay. I mean, that's not bad, but you can see stuff like this. And stuff like this. So this is no longer, and we have about 1,200 square foot of pallet of that. Just in case you want to see what 1,200 square foot looks like of tile, it's three pallets, and really nice. Love it. This is what the outside lights are gonna look like. They're supposed to be, I guess, she wanted silver. Yeah, it looks like it's silver there, but it's not that color, it's actually black. Let me show you. Boom. So if you look at that, Kind of looks silver to me, but it's black, but it's all good. It matches that. So we have to do things like paint this now because it doesn't quite, doesn't quite go. Air out this garage a little bit. Three car. And we're also changing something like, something like that. Ooh. And something like that. Let's click closer. Something like that. There you go. A little closer for you. It looks something like, it's going to look like this. Not something like, it's going to look like this. This is what we purchased for the front entryway. The bar stools that we got. I got another three to make. Got the mantle, fireplace, wood planking for the wall, sound bar with surround sound, Vizio setup. We also have new ceiling fans, to give you context. Eight new ceiling fans going in every single room. So they have much. This is what the new lift off agent back wooding clad is going to look like when it's all finished. Yay! It's going to be super dope. 
So that kind of gives you a little context as far as why did I go to Arizona one week before meeting with the family. Also, on top of the fact that we just closed on escrow, first time, to be honest with you, I've ever owned a home. And a home at this size and magnitude is just, blows my mind. I've always lived in complexes, and now I actually live in a single family residence. 34 years of age, been an entrepreneur my whole life, but really started working as an entrepreneur for myself at like 34, and so 33, 34, so it's been about 10 years, and now it's like, wow, all the sacrifice and everything was very much well worth it. So it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you, but either day, I always talk about that, especially with these videos, I always talk about that. So those are some things that we're changing, and that's just a couple things. You know what, let me show you a couple, just a couple more. Railings, all are going to be repainted. Wood vanity is going to be painted. It's gonna look something like this. Uh, what the heck? That's getting fixed. That's a dope shower head, yep. Oh yeah, and we have a pool too. And that needs to be resurfaced. They said redecking as well, all around, and resurfacing is taking out the water and then doing the whole entire bottom section. Yay! Our dope neighbor's backyard with tons of trees. This is Arizona, but it doesn't look like it. And we're also gonna be painting the, some back, well, like backsplashes. So this is gonna be a backsplash for like one single wall we'll paint. So gotta change those lights. Got them all set up for every section. We will give you a complete house tour. Wanted to kind of just show you and give you some context as far as what we're working on. But we'll give you a complete house tour very soon. We appreciate your continued support. Wanted to show you some of the things that we're upgrading, some of the things that we're doing. The reason why I'm here one week early, I still now need today go buy a moving truck. That's correct, I'm buying a moving truck, I'm not renting a moving truck, and people are like, what are you talking about, why would you do that? Well, I was quoted anywhere from $2,500 to $3,000 to then move and then rent a truck, we'll, or even pay someone to help us move. Then guess what happens? You don't have control, you don't get the money back, it's gone. So I found a truck, a 2007 uh, Pinsky truck, it's yellow, I don't really like yellow, but I might be able to wrap it, do some things, clean it up, and then the goal is to resell it. So I'm gonna get it for about 5,000, I could probably get about six to 6,500 maybe for the truck. Um, that's all in, depending on if it's cleaned up nice, and I need to get a couple things back to its original state. So that's the plan, and take you with me to go with the truck, and I'm gonna show you some of the upgrades here, and then we're gonna give you a complete tour of the house, because there's like six bedrooms, 3,300 square foot, it's like massive, and I can't wait to show you this house. It's freaking, it's just such a blessing, such a blessing. If you're liking this week's episode, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, help sort of algorithms so we can be able to reach more people and inspire more. Good morning, boys. How's it going? Oh, it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to sleep at 11 o'clock. Uh, setting up the bed here. This is for our guest bedroom. So we ordered the mattress, ordered the bed, everything on time. But this is a queen. This is a twin. <laughs> so i got to put all this stuff back. This needs to be taken back to Amazon, and I literally forgot a pillow. So I'm literally sleeping on just, yeah, just roll up that blanket. And 11 o'clock last night, and I started Tuesday morning at 2.48 in the morning, drove for 10 hours, and then worked on this house for about nine hours, and having some internet issues right now, and I have to take back the uh, cable modem because it's not two in one and it doesn't handle up to 500 megabytes per second download speed. So, but nice bed though. All right, let's get this day started. Then, yeah, it is what it is here for the comforter. So, wrap that up, got the bed situated. I was, man, working all the way up until, well, out with the old and with the new. Should be a little bit lower. I could probably dig it in a little bit deeper. Like, see how these are kind of inset? All I gotta do is really put the rocks around it, but so much better without having those like steps. Like, why do you need steps going to the outside door to where our gym's at? I think to just use the abstract pieces that we have here, like that one is going right here. This one, that one's going. So then I have all that. Look at that. That's all the stuff that we got delivered here. It's crazy. A lot of stuff. Nice. The gate's getting installed now. You doing the final, final touches. It's already looking a lot more just clean and nice. 
texting reps back home in California and I had a neighbor that came by and she's like, oh, this person's who this person is. This is who this person is. And telling us about the neighbors, right? She does her walk every single morning. She meets with her, um, with her grandkids. And she said, oh, your direct neighbor is actually a doctor and he's actually my personal doctor. I'm like, what the heck? You live next to a doctor? That's so freaking cool. I don't know. It's just little things, but what the heck is going on with this? <gasps> Great floors. No, I'm joking. This is going to be all tile. It's going to be so sick. You wait and see. It's going to be amazing. This setup is so sick. I can't wait to show you guys the whole house. So all of the door handles are done and our fans are getting installed. Check that out. Compare to those. Full fixtures. Yes, please. Now that is a freaking amazing lamp. It's got installed. It's Friday, final day. All the final stuff that we're going to be getting for the house before I need to go pick up Melissa and Baby Jay and the stuff. And I'm 50-50 social fan about buying this truck. I'm not getting the best of luck about buying a moving truck. I'm just going to be honest with you. So we'll see what happens. Look up the prices on renting them. And they actually are cheaper than I thought. And the reason why I wanted to buy a moving truck in the first place is because I wanted to be able to either put lift off agent on the side and give it out to agents to use or rent it out and then advertise the company and then also be able to get the money back I'm about to invest. So now, since it's not going to be that much, I might just say to the hell with it and rent a U-Haul and just be done with it. Well, a little update. It looks like I'm staying a little longer. So I was supposed to wake up tomorrow at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, drive straight out 10, about 11 hours to California, get there about 1 o'clock if I left here around 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning. Um, well, that's change of plans. We're not doing that anymore because I'm not buying the moving truck. I'm renting a truck. So this afternoon, I'm going to rent a truck, pick up a fridge, pick up a couple other things, and then I'm actually catching a flight because I have a credit because I was already supposed to be back out here in March before COVID-19. Call, phone calls coming in and then I will come back to California on Sunday morning. But check this out. Before, after. All I'm using is this. DIY and saving some money instead of buying handles. All right, so that was my landscaper. So yes, I just want to show you like something like this. It's so simple. I was just proactive. I needed a wire brush. I'm like, what else can I wire brush? And I was like, hey, I can pretty much do the handles because they're like pitted. And if you look really close, they're all pitted and messed up. So I was like, hey, if I can save a buck or two to do this, then it's best of all worlds because each one of these handles could be like two to five bucks. This depends on where you get it from. So this is a perfect opportunity. And I just had my landscaper call me and we're supposed to have our couch come. Two packages, 600 pounds of tea, 400 pound couch. Easy. So we're supposed to be here in five minutes. Couches are here. Woo, it's a big old box, two of them, 600 pounds worth of couches. Dang, so this is like 300 pounds right here, and then I got 300 pounds right there, and they don't quite fit. So, I mean, we're close, but not gonna work. So I'm gonna see if I can cut this right here, and then take this top section off, and make this work. So, we shall see. All right, see what we got. I'm gonna put you right here and see what we can do. So as soon as you feel like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, more boxes, I've done enough boxes, I've done enough fans, you know, 
No big deal. Let's look at the power wash. It's all good. And yeah, here's some more boxes, huh? Crazy. I think I'm gonna open up this one first. See what it is. Seems light. Wow, this is freaking awesome. Look at this couch. That is awesome. These pillows. Wow, honey. Good choice. All right, so now we're gonna go pick up a ring doorbell and I'm also going to pick up a new fridge for the house. So we, we're gonna get new fridge. We're like, why get new? We're just going off or up. And we're looking for very specific uh, dimensions. We found a KitchenAid right dimensions and we're saving like $700. So because we're doing so much of this house, we need to save as much as we can. So to Scottsdale and Paradise Valley. Paradise Valley is where Rez is gonna working and teaching for one more year. PE teacher, physical education, and then she'll be quitting her job. Right now we're in Mesa, right outside of Gilbert. Almost there, reading the next book of the week and stumbling upon a oh, McLaren, no big deal. That's freaking awesome. That's the 12C, the very first McLaren supercar. So we're now in Paradise Valley. Paradise Valley is basically back home if you're familiar with the Bay Area of California, you have uh, Danville, and then inside of Danville, you have Blackhawk. So you have Scottsdale here in Arizona, and inside of Scottsdale, you have Paradise Valley. So you're gonna see very large homes, very beautiful homes. I'm pretty sure, like 99.9% .9 sure, that the person I'm about to meet right now is probably an executive, a CEO, uh, someone that's important. I mean, look at these homes. So we're about to find out who we're gonna meet, and it's just a blessing from the guy that you saw that we met from the delivery guy at the couch, to now someone that uh, is selling a refrigerator and is probably very smart and resourceful, just like Melissa and I, and Reds and I, and, and looking to save money. So, or be able to recruit costs from a fridge that they purchased that they no longer need anymore. So they're trying to get a thousand bucks for it. It was a $3,000 fridge. We're getting it for like seven and a half. So not a bad deal for us, but it's kind of interesting. Definitely desert-like. So let's get over here. All right, fridge is in. Got the KitchenAid fridge. It's gonna match our stove. And look at this house. This is just amazing. This is like, there's just a little, one little garage. And then they have another one over there. And I can only imagine how square footage this house is. All right, here's the before. And here's the... And there you have it. Out with the old, in with the new. Just had to make sure it was measured up. Got the new numbers. Get installed now. Here comes our tile guy. All right. Time to leave the house behind and get to uh, get to California. Well, we made it. Now the question is, where is the wifey? She's probably up there. Southwest, jet blue. Aha, there she is. I see her. American. She's putting her blinker on. Does she see me? She sees me. <gasps> I feel the cheese. Sorry, I miss you. I love you. I hug you kisses. I your daddies. What's up, honey? Looking hot. Love you. Uh, finally, I'm here. Oh my god. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's YouTube episode of the house. It's looking absolutely amazing. Can't wait to show it to you next week so you're gonna see the lead up to coming here unpacking getting the house ready and then um, yeah we're doing this live real time so you should see the whole tour for next week but if you liked this week's youtube episode thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell comment below and we're gonna be giving away some cash next week so yeah stay tuned for that appreciate your continued support and until next week we're out